Uh, what's cooler even than that, Jamie? You may say, stop this madness. How does it get cooler? Hey there, everyone. Dave Barlow here with Sell for 1%. I have Jay DeBomb Barlow and Jay Marinsky Barlow with us here this morning. And we are in our continuing episodes of House of the Week. 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 And Jamie, you have a, a good one for us here this morning. Tell us all about it. How many houses of the week, week, week do you think I've done? Oh, boy. I would say 32. 32? Yeah. All right. Well. How many have you done? I don't know. I, <laughs> so it was a genuine question on my end. Um, this week's house of the week reason I ask is because it's not a house, house at all. Uh, the first house of the week, well, actually we've done the Beck tower. We've done all sorts of crazy buildings. So Jamie has a hard time with house of the week. The house of the week. There's only 850,000 houses in the central Ohio area. You, you think you could find one. I'm more into it for the history listeners. Okay. So no, I am. Don't, too. I think don't, that's cool. Don't mind needs to. Okay. Um, House of the Week this week is the Greystone Apartments off North High Street, uh, East Hubbard Avenue, and on the backside flanking it, North Wall Street. My grandfather lived um, on Hubbard Street. Yep, and I lived there for a little bit with my friend Alexander as well. Great place uh-huh. to be over by Goodale Park, and they have all the trees labeled. You can know what every single tree over there is if you wanted to. Um, There's an app so, for that. There's an app for that, and I love Columbus, man. I talked to Beth Over, who runs offices at the apartments with Urban Restorations owners. Um, these guys purchased and updated the apartments in the 80s and have held on to this gym ever since. Um, and the building really is a, I know I say it a lot, a testament to time. Um, but also Columbus in general as a city, which is, my opinion, in my opinion, the king of and the final bosses, final boss of the test markets. Uh, Columbus, Ohio is what every city wishes that it was. Um, so I have to ask as a resident here, stop, stop moving here. Um, you're ruining everything for us. So the Greystone Apartments were constructed starting in 1903 as a style of architecture. The term Greystone is a style of residential or commercial building, mostly common found in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, again, stay in Chicago, please. Uh, As the name suggests, graystone buildings are typically green color, uh, were most often built with Bedford limestone quarried from South Central Indiana. Um, In Chicago, there are roughly 30,000 graystones, usually built as semi or fully detached townhouses. Um, The term graystone is also referred to buildings in Montreal, Quebec, um, known in French with an American accent, excuse me, Pierre Gressy. Uh, probably Pierre Greece, but again, I don't know. Well, there's like plants it. and stay there. Both residential and in- institutional graystones are typically constructed, were typically constructed between 1730 and 1920. And the original builder of the graystone apartments here in Columbus, Ohio, again, 1903, Mr. Fritter, uh, which referring to him as Mr. Fritter for a lack of written text of what his first name is. Uh, I tried pretty hard on Google and Bing. I uh, couldn't find it. Well, he visited London, according to Beth at the front office, uh, and was inspired to build this magnificent creation after his travels. So, Jay, what do you think of when you think of London? I'm still thinking about Pierre and Freedom Fries. <laughs> when I think of London, I think of narrow, long houses made of big brick and ben. stone. Big Ben, the clock. Big Ben. I don't think of Big Ben. I was expecting I think, where is Kate Winslet or Hudson? What's her name? Yeah, it does. Who's the one? Yeah, I don't know. The missing Prince Harry. I was expecting you to say red coats, honestly, Jay. Um, when you think of London, and the the the, the truth and what has to do with this story is plague. Um, and plague is essentially what Mister Furter saw over in the UK, and he came back and constructed this monolith with that in mind. So from basement to soffit, this thing's made with concrete, concrete walls, floors, ceilings, with stone to top it all off my kind of building it was a fortress built with plague in mind again that's not a joke uh fritter had separate stairwells for each apartment 
uh, this is to avoid COVID lockdowns and related incidents. What's even cooler, though, each apartment had windows built on either side for cross ventilation. Uh, some in 1903 didn't, that wasn't really thought of that often. Um, and so cross pollination as well, if you hang the plants the right way. I learned that at university. Uh, what's cooler even than that, Jamie, you may say, stop this madness. How does it get cooler? And I'd say the king of the test markets in real estate is, has more up his sleep for you. Uh, the Greystone apartments were the first in the U.S. to introduce central refrigeration. A system from the basement up was put in place so you could have your ice boxes and chests easily refrigerated up to you. You didn't have to be a mope and carry a chest full of ice up the stairs anymore if you lived here in 1903. Um, originally known as Fruiter's Folly because shortly after construction, he couldn't finish it, ran out of money, called it Fruiter's Folly, and the bank made an acquisition in 1920. Uh, they had finished the building, updated it, blah, 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 until the current owners in 1980 who have done an outstanding job keeping the character and charm in magnificent condition uh, with opulence surrounding the building. Honestly, it is alive. Uh, if you walk past in the short north, now you know a little more. If you bank at Huntington there on East Hubbard, you'll see it. So make a stop by, stand in awe of this building, and let them know Jamie itself for 1% and give you a full, full breakdown on the history of the Greystone Apartments. If you like this or any of our content, please feel free to comment your thoughts, share, like, subscribe. I appreciate you guys having me on and another House of the Week in the books. 